The way to get started is to quit talking and start doing. Walt Disney, people. All right, in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my top six steps on what to focus on once you start drop shipping, okay? So, um, for those of you who do not know, my name is Otto. What I do is I teach you how to drop ship successfully online via a classic drop shipping model or retail arbitrage model. Whatever you, whichever way you decide, I'm pretty confident the information on my channel can help you guys start drop shipping. So with that said, guys, make sure you guys like this video, make sure you guys comment on the video, and make sure you guys share this video with at least one friend who you believe can gain value from this here video. So with that said, um, let, let's just jump into it. So um, <clears throat> a lot of you guys have contacted me via Facebook, um, email, um, commented on, on my blog, over to my blog, uh, guide to dropshipping.com. And um, you've been, some of you guys are frustrated because you're new at dropshipping. You do not know where to start or you know where to start, but you you just kind of don't know how to get the ball rolling. You know, for some reason, um, it seems like a lot of you guys are gun shy uh, when it comes to listing items. So my number one step is you have to list items. Make it a goal to list at least 10 items a day for a week. At the end of that week, you'll have 70 items listed and, and you'll be very proficient with how to list items, um, how to... Uh, uh, your keyword research and all that stuff, but you just got to get into the into the groove of listing items, whether it be on eBay, Amazon, and, and things of that nature. So um, a lot of you contacted me, and, I, and the first question I ask is, well, how many items do you have listed? Or you send me a link to your uh, eBay account or to your, your Amazon store, and the first thing I notice is that you probably only have five or six items up there, you know, and, um, you know, five or six items, Honestly, it isn't going to make you any life changing money unless, you know, it's it's a brand that you own and you have, you know, uh, there's different variables of that. But once you drop shipping, um, you want to have more than just a couple items in your store. You know, drop shipping is very much a volume business. The more listings you have, the more opportunity you have of someone interested in one of those listings on one of your products, uh, navigating to your store and purchasing that item and or other items. So please, people, uh, get comfortable listing. If you're starting out, list at least 10 items a day for the next seven days. I guarantee you will see success from that. Okay, so with that said, let's move on to number two. So we're here at number two. Number two is going to be pricing, okay? I've noticed that a lot of people pay a lot of, t well, a lot of people. Um, newer dropshippers, people who are new to dropshipping tend to pay a lot of attention to the price of the item, you know? Whether you source your item through a, a sell who supplier or a wholesale to be supplier or whether you're using a Worldwide Brands or even Walmart, uh, Kmart, uh, Costco, Wayfair, man, Overstock, Man, Jet.com, there's a whole list of places where you can get items from, okay? But the first thing I've noticed that a lot of newcomers would do is they would go price check those items against what's selling on Amazon or eBay to see if there's any money involved. And that's a good thing to do because you, you want to see where your profit's at and you want to see where you can compete. But uh, what I've noticed that a lot of new dropshippers do, opposed to more experienced dropshippers, is that... um. A lot of new drop shippers will automatically see a lower price for their item and then they won't list their item believing that they can't sell their item because it's at a higher price you know and um, that's not necessarily true you know especially with eBay and some of these other e-commerce platforms where you could really outrank people other other uh, eBay sellers uh, on on the keywords you know you could target a certain keyword you'll get the majority of that traffic for that keyword. So uh, don't just look at the price of, of, the, of the item. It, it comes down to how you create your listing, um, your, re, your keyword research, your pictures you put on, on your listing, and how you promote your items. There's a whole list of other uh, situations on how to uh, uh, 
increase the likelihood of you selling a higher price item and I'll get into that later on in this video okay so one thing uh, so for number two don't pay too much attention to the price a lot of you guys tend to, to uh, see a price and jump off of it you know uh, honestly um, drop shipping profits are anywhere between around about 15 to 30 uh, percent profit so honestly you could be you know above uh, or quite a bit above um, the lowest price and still make some decent money uh, drop shipping so uh, with that said don't focus completely on the price of the item okay so moving on to number three number three is suppliers okay um, when you're first starting out you want to have at least three suppliers no more than three suppliers okay reason being is um, a lot of new newbies will come in and they'll go through the DS domination training or they'll go through the Infinii training and um, uh, they'll start realizing that they can pretty much source items from other online retailers especially if you're doing retail arbitrage you know and so what will happen is they'll 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 do the ten items list ten items a day for seven days but they're listing items from you know seven or eight or nine different websites you know and quite often some of those items might not sell right away <laughs> and so what will happen is you get confused once you get a sell you're like oh my gosh where did I where did I find the item at so now you're all excited about your sell and you want to buy the purchase the item but you don't remember exactly where um, you got that item from or you remember where you got the item from but it's just kind of hard to find you know so what I suggest is just to keep your suppliers to a minimum of about three you know say you go with overstock Wayfair and like hayneedle.com or whatever for uh, your three suppliers so you know once you get a sell you could just go okay if it's not on overstock it's on hay needle if it ain't on hay needle it's on wayfair you know vice versa or something of that nature same thing with your wholesale suppliers if you have have uh three wholesale suppliers that you can uh get items from so you know exactly where, you, where you're getting your items from and not only that um, number three keeping on with the suppliers is you want to have a backup supplier for uh, your main drop shipping products ba basically for all your products you <laughs> you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket um, from one supplier you might you might want to have two suppliers you know um, no you do want to have two suppliers say for instance if one runs out you can easily uh, go to the next supplier and get the item it might be at a higher price or something like that but at least you can fulfill the order you know or so it's really good especially if you use a wholesale suppliers to uh, have wholesale suppliers that complement each other even if you can't get that same particular item you might be able to save the sale by offering the customer a different item that is similar or um, pretty much the same as, as the as the item that you couldn't that you couldn't get so with that said number three that's the suppliers guys so pay attention to your suppliers don't list um, hundreds of items from 50 different wholesale suppliers it's just a headache for keep trying to keep them track of all that jazz okay so with that said let's move on so number four is gonna be promote okay if you guys want to start making sales yes it's great to be on the first page of the Amazon search results it's even better to be on the first page of the eBay search results you know or Etsy or wherever you you're, you're selling at but you know it's even better to drive traffic to those sites especially Amazon okay so what you're gonna do is um, you want to promote every product you sell I go through a little um, uh, a routine with every item I sell every item I list you know um, I list the item I have a YouTube channel not just particularly for the item but I have a, a YouTube channel that is only dedicated to all my items that, that I sell I have a, a, a video for each item and I link that video to my listings whether it be on Amazon whether it be on Amazon or eBay or wherever you know I also um, you I utilize Pinterest you know um, I, I have a Pinterest board where I have my items up there also other items that complement my my item and um, I have a link going from Pinterest to my particular item okay and um, also well where else do I do? well there's there's a host of other other uh, 
Pinterest like sites that work great for e-com. But what the, the key here is you want to promote your product. Okay. And I don't care what it is, whatever you're selling, be five bucks or a ten dollar item or whatever. What's going to happen is, especially with Amazon and eBay, if you bring people to their website, Amazon will award you for that. You know what I'm saying? They'll start bumping up your listing in the categories because you're bringing in so much traffic for uh, that particular listing. Now, a lot of you out there are already saying like, man, um, but I'm selling on the listing with several other people, especially if you're selling on Amazon, you might have the buy box one day, but then you look down to the right and there's like seven or eight other people or maybe even more selling the same item. You know, so you're like, well, you don't want to bring in traffic to those particular items. Um, if you guys click in the link below, visit my blog, guide to dropshipping.com. I'm actually going to show you a, uh, a tip and a video on how to, uh, go about, um, having people click on your link and come directly to your listing so that other people's listings don't show and all that. It's a cool little tip. I make sales with that all the time. So with that said, that's promoting your product is one of the ways to gain sales on eBay, Amazon, and when you're drop shipping, okay? Um, and that's another reason why pricing really doesn't matter that much because even if you price higher and someone came to your product through um, uh, via a link from say Pinterest or YouTube or Facebook or or wherever you know or stumble upon or whatever you know when they land when they click on the link they're gonna go directly to your page and they won't see everybody else's you know um, listings so even if you're higher than another listing you can still get the sell. So that's why I told you guys earlier, it's really not that important that you focus that much on price. Because if you promote your product the right way, you'll consistently make sales. All right. So with that said, guys, let's move on. Number five is customer service. Okay. So customer service is big with drop shipping because when you're drop shipping, you're basically, you have to be a customer service machine. You're going to get the sale, you know, you got to put in the sale. If anything happens, you're going to have to, <laughs> I mean, you're going to have to put in the sale with your wholesale supplier, you know, and if anything happens there, you, you're you like the middleman. You need to remedy that situation, you know, whether it be uploading tracking information, um, contacting the buyer about any delays, you know, and maybe they might co contact you with um, an issue or something. You have to be all over that because you want to protect your account it gets negative feedback. You also want to answer questions so that you get those sales. A lot of people want to buy. Uh, a lot of people who come across your products, they actually want to buy the product, but they um, might just want to ask a question about it, this or that or whatever. And uh, the sooner you can answer that question while they're in that buying mood, you will get that sell. Not only that, when I talk about customer, su customer support, um, I'm talking about answering emails, you know, uh, uh, if you're if you have a YouTube channel and you're listing your product product reviews on YouTube with a link back to your store, um, you want to answer any questions that pop up in the comments um, and things of that nature. You just want to stay ahead of the game with all the customer service. That will really really increase your chances of making a sell, especially if you sell in any item that have a potential for repeat buyers. You know, like filters or film or something of that of that nature that needs to be replenished. A lot of people, if they ha have a good experience with an online seller, uh, they'll come back over and over and over and over again to purchase from that, from that person. I have a situation with that where I sell, um, filters for a particular product. And yes, if they looked a little deeper, they could get quite a bit of discount, but I have consistent repeat buyers for those filters simply because I believe of the customer service that I provide when with that particular product, um, they feel comfortable, they know they get it fast and this and that, and I alert them to any delays that's going on. So with that said, customer service guys, check your YouTube, your Pinterest, your Facebook, and things of that nature, regard, um, wherever you have your, your, you're promoting your products, look for people who answer questions because, who ask questions because they're interested and all that jazz. So there you go. Tip number six. Actually guys, Tip number six can be found on my blog, which is guide to dropshipping.com. Make sure you guys click in the link below, go visit my blog. And that tip is going to cover the video on how to drive traffic 
to your listing. It's going to be very detailed. Also, for those of you who need help keeping track of your inventory, there will be an inventory spreadsheet that you can download for free just by clicking in the link below. And um, that's that. Also, for any of you who are having issues drop shipping and need a little bit of help, please contact me on Facebook. Um, and uh, I do comment back to all my messages. Just give me a little time because I often get up quite a bit of messages. But I do set aside a couple days a week to respond to everybody. So just be patient with me. Go visit uh, my Facebook page, guys. And if you have not done so already, please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. This way you guys can stay up to date with any videos that, that I come out with related to drop shipping or e-commerce in general. I'm going to have a whole section of, of uh, videos coming out that are specifically related to a traditional drop shipping method. Also, it's going to cover Shopify, Big Commerce, um, a whole list of other things completely for free. So make sure you guys... Um, subscribe to my channel so with all that said guys make sure you guys like this video make sure you guys comment on the video and make sure you guys share this video with at least one friend who you believe can gain value from this here video god bless you guys all right bye bye